Hello and welcome back to Sisters United. You are joined by Player 1 and Player 2. And welcome back to our Engaged in Conflict scenario where in the last episode Brandy confessed, basically more or less said to him that she had she had an affair. And he isn't quite sure how to take it. His mother-in-law to be has moved in and is pretty much being controlling and has a woo with her husband. Yes, who cheated on her. Who cheated on her. As soon as the wedding is done, this place will be being bulldozed and getting redone. Yes, yes. And their wedding is today. Yes, so, it is. Because Brandy is also pregnant. She is. And she's in the third trimester. So what I will probably do, just so that she's not pregnant and the actual wedding is, we will make her have the baby. Yes. This is just a blip in the relationship. That's all it is. It's just a blip. Well, he still wants to get married to her. It's just a blip. Oh, he had a dirty dream. In a dumpster. You know, so he still, you know, has feelings for her, I would say. He's just, um, doesn't know what's wrong with her. Mm. It's not the woman he was talking to online. But I think we like to highlight the fact that they both had expectations on each other that haven't panned out. Yes. <laughs> I now have some big spoons. It's the mother. I think it's the mother. She's the worst thing that's happened to this house. Okay, so I've put her in labour, so we'll go and have the baby. Because we haven't had time to go check what she's having, so she has no idea. Yes. Oh, it's gotta be fine. It's gotta be fine. He called that one Blaze, and I would say because of his actions, Brandy will get away with naming her kids. <gasps> oh, she had twins. Oh, Elizabeth and Mary. And the kids, I have twins, baby girl. Little girl. No, he excuse me. Don't cry. Don't you worry. Everything's gonna be fine. You're beautiful. And so are you. It looks like you both have my hair colour. My brow hair's being strong today. I hope you're going to be making sure that my baby's taken care of. I hate your grandmother. And she's not going to be living in here for much longer. And apparently if I get married to your mother, this whole place is getting turned down. It is! We're going to be remodeling it into a place that my daughter is worth. And Gula. I wish I'd have invited her to live here. I should have just left over a cheating husband. Then Brandy might not be like her mother. Are you? So, son, I heard you had a little girl. Two, two little girls, daddy. But is there something you want to talk to me about, sir? Baby not the know. It's his wedding day as well. <laughs> but not right now. He's going to go do what he wants. Uh, it's going to be my wedding day, so I want to go do some stuff. Right, well, let's get this place cleaned up because, quite frankly, it's a mess. And this place is going to look so much better once we're married and we get to completely remodeling. Right, now go! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, fuck off, Julian. <laughs> it's okay, Boo It's okay. Do you maybe want to just go out for a ride rather than this? Oh, they'll hug them on the horse. Aww. Feel better? You feel better, Boo Let's go for a relaxed ride. Come on. Right, okay. this one needs a nap. 
Brandy, you're just gonna have to come help do some stuff. No! Why should I? Where is Daniel anyway? He should be here. I have to do all the work around here. Well, is it not bad luck to see the bride before the wedding? No, it's bad to see the bride in her wedding dress before the wedding. I shouldn't be working anyway. Boomer, am I making the biggest mistake of my life? Do you think so? Do you think so? Do you think she's showing her true colours now? Because she thinks because her mom is there that she won't get a clap back. My boomer. Oh, my it's okay. It's okay. It's I know. Boy. We're on the bridge. <sighs> okay. What? It's sooner than I thought. Where are you going? No, nope. nowhere. Okay, so here she comes. Mm -hmm. I hope your marriage is a rich one and it lasts. To only give her children. One. Jen, it's your yes. turn. Okay. <laughs> yibs, yibs, Tombra. I really do help. Oh, wow. Your marriage is a loving one. Uh -huh. But do remember, <laughs> her wife loves me more. <laughs> right, uh, Daniel, I'm only gonna ask you this one. <clears throat> do you need any help? And I mean it. Oh! Don't tell me! I was just saying I'd marry a cowboy. Oh, babe. You did. No, Eddie Bob. New boo eggs. <laughs> These two are getting married. So, Brandy, I really do hope we work out our differences. What differences? All you need to do is follow what I say. No. Oblige. For us to be married, we need to bulldoze the house. What? Yes, we heard you. No. You are my husband. You are mine. Make a baby make this one. Make a baby make a walk. Right. Let's walk down. You sure you're happy about this, Daniel? I'm gonna make it work. Oh, now you're gonna have to get used to Melody and Janice. What do you mean I have to get used to Melody and Janice? Well, they're my lovers. I'm not giving them up. Yeah, you gotta get used to us, boy. No, no, no. no. Brandy, I married you, not Janice and Melody. What's going on? Who's giving the toast? You know, you should go. Uh, Have fun with you if you like. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> All I Captain want is what's brand. And I do not want a package job. deal. Uh, what? Well, Brandy, I don't want a package. I want you and the kid. That's it. I don't want Melody. I don't want Janice. I don't want whoever else you have in your back pocket. Especially your mother. Excuse me. You heard me. Mommy. He's not following. We're going to have to deal with Daniel. What are you talking about? So we're going to need to make sure that uh, Daniel has an accident or something so that he might go get the house. I got to warn Daniel. Daniel! 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 My baby boy, where are you? Brandy, I've already told you. If you want to stay married, you can't have a side piece. Excuse me, I can have whatever I want. You're just here to produce the children and pay the bill. That's all I want from you. What happened to loving me? Can't you tell I was young? 
Now that the kids are born, I can. And I will fight for custody. You do know that, right? Wogra, Vimpa, Gil. You wouldn't dare, because you know. Because you know that I have the money. You wouldn't win against me anyway in court. The amount of evidence I have of you being unfaithful. Uh -huh. I think oh, I yeah. would. <laughs> Especially if you quit in your job. I shouldn't need to wait. You know what? Friend, I'm done. I'm absolutely done. You're to get out of my house. And since we haven't been married for 24 hours, it's an annulment. So you get nothing. It's not a divorce. Savara. Oh, Savara! I can You can't wait in 24 hours! No! I couldn't. So if you excuse me, I'm gonna go and deal with my kids back at home because I have a home. Right now, you're home. So go back for your mom and go back home. And then we'll do. Ah! 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 I could arrest you! Need. Just try it, old man! So, before we send him home, we will quickly move her and his and her mum back in with the, her dad. Yeah. Oh, you will. Dad's gonna take good care of you. Even if that is, move back in with his own dad. Actually, we might be able to just finish it off in one episode if it's not very long. Mm -hmm. so That's all I need to, um... Get someone about discussing about custody of my three kids. Yes, I've just recently annulled my marriage. And uh, my I have the scars and the bruises that my my ex-wife has done to me. And I'm scared that she would do the same to my children. Oh, Daniel. Oh, no. <gasps> so he hasn't got Elizabeth. She separated the twins. Oh no! They took Elizabeth! Can they, can he appeal? Can I appeal? Can I separate the twins? Imagine getting custody for two, but not all. <gasps> oh, so there we go then! So he has one twin. Boomer! They took Elizabeth! Maybe it'll be a bit like, um parent trap yeah where because technically blaze is older and he's grew up around his father like in this bit it's better for him to stay here but because their the twins were born mm -hmm. and just born the courts decided to settle it that they get one twin each oh so there we go so that'll be that's it for this scenario so um we'll probably say that the, we don't know why he ended up not running this ranch in the end. Maybe it is he had to move back in with his parents. Maybe he had to move back in with his parents. Who knows? But we will end it off by waking up um, little Blaze and aging him up, and then we'll quickly age up little Mary. Do you understand this? You know that I got custody of two of my kids. But oh, they didn't give me what? Oh, yeah, one! One custody! I think I have. Her. Well, can you pay the rent? Don't, don't stop that. Oh, look at him. He's a handsome wee boy. Oh, he is. So, what we'll do is we'll just quickly pop into Cass to see if it's a skin detail she's got on. So, we'll just jump to Brandy, age up the other twin, and then we'll end it off. Yes. He will pay. For everything! Oh, she might actually have blue eyes. But I think that'll be it for this episode. So if you've enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. And what we will be doing now is having a break.
from doing scenarios and we're going to be moving things slightly. Yes. So instead of a scenario being on a Wednesday, we're going to move it on to a Thursday. Because what we're going to do now is do a scenario and a cult. A scenario and a cult. Because Aye. Changing every week. Yes. Because we are going... No, no. Changing after we get through it. Oh, okay. So it would be... We would do a scenario till it's done. Then oh, we were doing a cult. I misunderstood. No. I thought we were doing one week a cult, one week scenario, one no. week a cult, because then we'd have more time to plan said episodes. No. No. It would be like one week of doing scenario, and then you'd plan the occult in advance, and then like vice versa. Oh. Because on Wednesdays, we are going to start doing Warcraft. Yes. So now thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.